What is cracking big dogs? Today, I'm gonna get into my first informational type video of the mini cut series. As you can see, I just went grocery shopping. So I got a ton of food behind me and I'm going to get into the best foods or I guess my favorite foods to shop for, to buy, to eat while you're cutting, while you're dieting, while you're losing weight. Let's get right into it. Now, if you've been watching the videos and you know what kind of diet I'm on, the IIFYM, if it fits your macros, it doesn't really matter what food you actually pick. It matters that you can fit them into your diet. So let's kick it off with some almond milk for you hippie motherfuckers. Now, I don't buy this because like, I think it's healthier. I don't care for almonds at all, but this has like eight grams of carbs, or no, I'm an idiot. It has literally one gram of carb, one gram of protein. It's like 30 calories for a cup, as opposed to milk. Throw them shits in my cereal. Next, we have rice, these minute rices. Yeah, you could buy a big ass bag of rice. It'll probably be more economical. Also, probably taste a little better, but I'm lazy. You don't have to cook this. You literally throw it in the microwave for a minute and it's ready to go. Um, you know, you don't have to weigh anything or cook anything. So these are ready to go right off the rip. We got some nanners because fruit. I love me some nanners. I'm gonna be putting these away while I'm shooting. So I'll talk, I'll talk and walk and, and shoot. Nanners are one of my favorite fruits. I didn't buy apples because we already have them. And then we have some Greek yogurt. Now, if you've never tried the caramel apple pie, this flavor is bar none the best flavor in the history of the earth, in the history of mankind, is the goat yogurt, aka the goat gurt. Uh, there you go. Dude, I'm all over the puns on these videos. So these have 12 grams of protein and only eight carbs in them. So you could eat like fucking seven of them in a bowl and you're good to go. A ton of protein. And then if you've watched any of my last couple videos, egg substitutes, basically the same thing as egg beaters. They are like yellow. I don't know if that's like a flavor or just a color dye, but they're 99% egg product, whatever the fuck that means. And they're basically straight protein, but they taste a lot better than egg beaters or egg whites. And this is the best brand. If you have a stop and shop by you, I suggest getting this brand as opposed to other ones because the other ones taste awful. So you heard it here first. If you buy some egg beater shits and they're not this brand, don't blame my ass. And of course, you know, I ain't not gonna get a couple monsters. If you're looking for an energy drink, these are by far the best. Get the sugar-free ones, zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, all that good stuff. They taste phenomenal as well. You could put them in your pre-workout mixer. You can even mix them with a little vodka and they taste mwah, mwah, phenoms. Action Bronson would approve. Next, we got some rolls in case I wanna fuck around and make a sandwich, you know, ham sandwich, uh, egg sandwich, toenail pie sandwich, salamander pie sandwich. Shout out, give me a thumbs up if you know what video that's from. None of you guys will have fucking know that. It was from like 10 years ago. Uh, I got a box of tissues because it's fucking cold out here in the Northeast. Everyone's getting cold. And I'm also a 24 year old male. You can do the math. This is epic. You're literally inside my fridge right now. Let's go. What else we got? The angles are sick with it right now. What else we got? We have ham. Super fucking underrated. Ham. It's basically the same exact macros as like grilled chicken. It's basically all protein. You could slice it up thin, throw it on the skillet with some eggs and get a little souffle action going. Make a cold cut sandwich, make a ham and cheese melt, whatever you want to do. Utility player right here. They would pay max contract type numbers in the MLB for some ham. Veggies because health, because vegetables. Child, put them in the skillet with some chicken and you're good to go. Let me take you out the fridge. Let's get back over here for some, some low action. Duck on this seat right now. Okay, you know I have the reduced sugar. Ketchup, so it's only a carb per serving compared to like five carbs for a regular serving of ketchup. I hate when motherfuckers call it ketchup, by the way. Strawberries, some more fruit because fruit, because health, CTC. Full disclosure, these have already been opened, but I wanted to say a little piece about cereal because who doesn't love CTC? So a lot of the people I work with, a lot of the clients, are they have trouble eating carbs. They're getting a lot of carbs, and I know that probably sounds fucking crazy to a lot of you guys because all y'all want to eat is carbs, but you know, they get to the end of the day and they hit 200 carbs, but they need to hit 300 carbs, and they're like, oh, I don't know what else to do. Go buy your favorite cereal, because almost 90% of your cereal is like straight carbs. See that, like 25 grams of carbs per serving. So have yourself two bowls of cereal, 
put a cup of milk in there and boom, you knocked out like 60, 70 carbs plus some, uh, some protein with the milk. So, I mean, I, I don't understand how people have trouble hitting carbs, but if you do, CTC that bitch up. I think we already talked about chicken. I don't remember if we did, but if we didn't, we're going to talk about it twice. Chicken, go Tyson, don't go Purdue, and go with the cut up. Now, again, you could be a lot more economical here and get regular chicken breast and cook it on the grill and shit, but I'm not like I'm 20th century person. I'm 21st century. I'm a millennial. I don't grill. I wish I did know how to grill. Every summer, that's like my resolution. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be outside like shirtless and cooking up the grill. Shit never happened. So you just always on the skillet for like five, six minutes to cook up. Easy done. Easy done. Easy, easy, wheezy, cheesy. Okay, save the good stuff for last. Pizza. Yes, you can fit fucking pizza into your macros if you are tracking. So this is for one third of the pizza. I can't even see that. I hope you guys can. So it's 10 fat, 29 carbs, 10 protein. So the whole pizza would be 30 fat, a little under 90 carbs, and 30 protein. So if you know, at the end of the day, you fit a lot of protein throughout the day, and you have fats and carbs to kill, boom, this whole pizza, you could fit it in there. So the Sock and Shop low-key has some banging ass pizza. I would suggest going with this over like a Domino's, because first of all, that shit's way unhealthy, and you can't really fit that into your macros. And these just taste good. And lastly, if you are an ice cream connoisseur like myself. These are an absolute must try. Halo Top. Now Halo Top is like a, I guess a health conscious company. Now for the, they say 240 calories for the entire pint, that is not correct. They're one of those fuckers that like, don't count fiber in their calorie count, but it doesn't matter because you're counting macros. So there is two grams of fat. I uh, can't see because it it's backwards on the screen, but two grams of fat. 12 grams of carbs and six grams of protein per serving, four servings. If you're like me, you cannot eat just like a scoop or two of ice cream. You need the entire fucking pint. So these are perfect for that. And I got vanilla chocolate because they didn't have any other flavors, but they do have a ton of good flavors like around. I'm not sure where, maybe uh, Whole Foods I know has some other flavors and apparently they're all really, 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 really good. But yes, these are like, I don't know if you've ever had Arctic Zero, but they're supposed to be like a healthy ice cream. They have like fucking zero calories in them, but they taste like ass. These taste like legit vanilla and chocolate ice cream. I promise you, go try them out and let me know what you think about them. But yeah, I think that wraps up. I need to put this shit in the fridge because it's just gonna melt. I know, like, I like you guys, but you're not that important. You're, like, food, arrow sign, you guys. So I need to make sure, like, my ice cream don't melt. But just to, just to wrap up, you know, it, when you're counting your macros, when you're tracking your food, you can get whatever you want at the, super, at the supermarket. You could easily go get pint of Ben and Jerry's. You can go get Oreos. You can go get fucking whatever you want and fit it into your macros. Me personally, like I can't have that shit in my house because I have zero self-control. I like legit told my mom, I was like, you can't have ice cream in this house because I can't stop myself from eating the entire fucking quart of it. So she hasn't bought ice cream since and I'm hoping she's not gonna be a sick fuck and do it again. So you can keep whatever you want in your house. You can fit whatever you want into your macros. This, these are just my favorite diet foods and easy ways for me to hit my macros because those are foods that I enjoy. But you can do the same, obviously. And I hope this video kind of helped you out and helped you get a sense of, you know, how you fit different foods into your calorie range, into your macro range, and gave you some kind of food ideas for it. Now, there's so much out there that's customizable to how you're eating. Hope you liked it. This helped you out. If you enjoyed any part of this, go give it a thumbs up, please. That helps the channel a lot. It helps people find it through the organic search. Peace. Um, the organic search on the side. Go share it, subscribe to my channel if you are not. Mmm, all that good stuff. Vitamins, cause fucking health, baby. And that's it. So I will see you guys in, this is gonna, this is episode two. I'm also shooting my full day of eating while I'm doing this as well right now. So you're gonna get two videos in the coming weeks. I mean, the coming days, so hope you enjoy. I'm feeling lonely, no one to hold me, no one to console me My drug use out of control, I hit the road Leaving behind all the memories of York Not a drinking, but it had me sipping Hennessy for sure My daily thoughts so what's the penalty for raw When I should be making money singing records on the tour But I'm stuck in a room living with mommy telling bitches